Alright, welcome. This is day two of my Jack and Daxter HD playthrough featuring Jacks 1, 2, and 3. Obviously, <coughs> holy shit. Obviously, we're starting with Jack 1 first. And uh, in one day, it's kind of funny, in one day I was able to complete the entire first area. We are now onto the Blue Sages lab, so we have a lot of stuff to do. There's a lot of stuff to do in the Blue Sages lab. We have the Precursor Ruins over here. We have a swamp over there with a big giant blimp. And then you can also go into a uh, Rift Rider place where you can ride a vehicle. Now, even with power cells, will we have enough power? What does Samos have to say? Well, the situation here stinks worse than a lurker's armpit. Before Blue Sage's disappearance, he journaled significant trouble in all of the surrounding areas. Of particular interest to me is the dark eco-infection of some innocent plants in the Precursor Basin. Kira will teleport your Agram Zoomer to the nearest Transpad. Ride the Zoomer to a Green Eagle vent, and then carry the Green Eagle to the Corrupted Plants. That should heal them. Don't miss a single plant, or the infected ones will slowly reinfect the healthy ones. Huh. And Daxter, start cleaning up in here, and don't forget the corners. Well, isn't he pushy? He is very pushy. Alright, so the question is, where do we go first? I guess we can go down here. Alright, so this is Rock Village, home of... Until we find out why the blue sage disappeared, you're going to need to collect 45 power cells to fuel his machine. Go get him. I think I have, like, close to that many, anyways. <laughs> but obviously I'm not gonna just rush through it. That'd be stupid. Oh, it's over here, alright. Uh, how exactly am I supposed to do this without rolling into that freaking tree? That's not exactly working. Oh, I guess I could get this blue ego. Nope, I don't have enough. Oh, come on, dude. Ugh. Rolling full away doesn't do anything. Beware of the dark light, for it has twisted the fate of one of you. The dark when light, what the hell is that? Mean? Is it light I supposed contain. to be light? <laughs> the dark light. Here is another power cell for your quest. Alright, buy some power cells for this idiot. Do I have enough for another? Nope, not enough. Get this thing. There's gotta be a way to like fully get Blue Eco or something. It's gonna piss me off, I know that. Oh 
shit. Ah, there's no way to do this. There's no way you could possibly ever do that. There's no blue eco that can give you enough charge. I don't know, maybe you can get it from other, some other source. I'm not really sure where, though. There's got to be some way to do that. Maybe I can roll into it. There we go, frickin' finally. Well, that was definitely hard. Oof, all right, let's go talk to this lady. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. <laughs> well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits no, of lightning we'll never help each other. the base next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? No, not fair enough. 60. Oh, what the heck? Huh? What is this bullshit? I bounce right off of her. Alright, let's go over here first, I guess. So this entire stage is by using this stupid vehicle. You have to hear the moles she was talking about. Nice. The 
Thus, all the plants were saved. Green thumb. You keep on impressing me. <laughs> but then maybe it's just because I've got low expectations. Okay, your moment of gloating is over. Get on with it. Ah, uh, Samos, you're always a pushy asshole.